Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Yesterday I did my first impression pattern review for the new McCall's Fall Pattern Collection, which means today I am here to share my ready to wear inspiration. Once again, I have picked three of my favorite patterns from the collection and look familiar. And um, I have found some ready to wear versions of them and I'm sharing with you where you can find fabric so that you can make uh, your own version of the ready to wear inspiration. So my uh, patterns that I picked out for this round are this button down shirt, um, but actually this view here with the bows on the sleeves. I also chose this little ruffly skirt. So many of you commented on the first impression video saying that this was one of your favorites. So I thought that would be fun. And then also this interesting sweater here with the shoulder cutout and mock turtleneck. So let's jump into this. Let me close out some of these tabs. All right, so this shirt here, I instantly was intrigued by. I do love a good bow, as you guys know, and a good button down. I just wasn't really sure how this was kind of all gonna play out. So I hit the internet to try and see if anybody else had made something similar. And lo and behold, I found this from Neiman Marcus. I think it's the Neiman Marcus brand. Um, it was originally $118. It's been marked down a couple times. There's some sale going on. So now it's only $35, but still. Um, this has the bows on the sleeves. It has the bell sleeve, has button down with a collar. Very similar style lines to our pattern. The only difference is this one has this interesting like dart. It's like a princess seam, but it's open and then closed and then opens again and it creates this little like front ruffly thing. Um, I don't particularly like that, if I'm being honest. And I didn't really like the fabric either. I thought it looked... I don't know, just a little like outdated. Um, I just felt like this had been done before. So I went to try and find some striped fabric that I thought would be good, kind of struck out. I think I just don't love, love, love little micro stripes like this, but I thought that it would be adorable in gingham, right? I mean, with the bows and the button down, it would be perfect. So these are from Stylemaker Fabrics. Um, they're the Ro Robert Kaufman Carolina Gingham Collection. You can get them several different places. Um, but she has three of the colors here. The fuchsia, she has navy, and she also has black. That's the navy. And here's the black. But honestly, you guys, you could really use any 100% cotton shirting. So if gingham checks aren't for you and you like stripes, by all means, go find something that you like. I think the important takeaway from this ready-to-wear inspiration is that it's 100% cotton and like you get an idea of what that sleeve would kind of look like with that bow detail. So I thought that that was really helpful. Um, so yeah, I got real excited whenever I thought of hot pink gingham. But if it's not for you, just go find any old 100% cotton shirting. Okay, next up is this cutie here. So I actually could not find anything with this flounce detail. I was only able to find one that just had a single layer of ruffles. So you're gonna kinda have to use your imagination a little bit, but take a look at this. So cute, right? Here she is in her whole little outfit. This is with the shirt um, on, I don't like their website right now. Um, is that shirt tucked in? It's really low on her hips, interesting. Um, yeah, that's bizarre. I guess it was just too big for her. Anyways, um, it's just really, really cute with that flounce, and you can see how it gets all 
flirty and kicky and like moves around a bunch while you move around. Um, I just think that that is absolutely adorable. Love it in the plaid. They did a plaid version too. So, and I know that this whole, I think they're calling it like academy, academy or collegiate, something like that where it's like kind of like a very reminiscent of like varsity sweatshirts and there's lots of like striped athletic ribbing and things like that and plaid fits really well into that. So that is really, really on trend for this fall and also leading into spring. So this skirt could take you into a few seasons. But here's the fabric I found. Um, it is Atelio stretch suiting check um, with black and white stripes. It's a poly rayon spandex blend. Um, if we go back to her inspiration, she actually has black, white, and pink stripes. It's a little more subtle than the Atelio fabric. Um, but if you check out the fabric, it's poly rayon and spandex. So not the exact same um, percentages there, but very close. You're looking for a stretch suiting pretty much. Um, and that's what this fabric from, from Telio is. So yeah, I think that would be adorable in any of the versions, whether you did the flounce here, um, even in the lace up would be cute, this plain one or go big with all three layers. Um, you could also obviously just do the bottom layer of this version without the double ruffle and get something very similar to our inspiration here with just the single ruffle. Just make sure that the length of your main skirt is long enough. Um, you want it to hit, you know, at the, at the, thinner part of your thigh. So you want it to go around your, um, I hate that I can't use my pointer without it being so distracting. You want it to go over your butt, you know, over your high hip, over your low hip, and kind of hit you at like mid thigh. And then the flounce can come down um, to like above your knee. Cute, okay. The next one was this top. I actually tried really hard to find something like this because I do think it is less scandalous than it looks um, and could be really, really great for holiday, but I had a really hard time finding something that wasn't cheap looking, I guess. Um, and nothing had the shoulder cutouts, um, so I struck out on that as far as ready to wear inspiration. I'll keep my eyes posted though, or eyes peeled. Um, and keep you guys posted. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. But I was able to find a ton of these versions. Like these are kind of a dime a dozen. Um, I found this one from Paige Denim. It's $258. Uh, made from wool, nylon, and polyvinyl acetate. Acetate kind of another word for um, like spandex. Um, so... Yeah, you can see it has like, this one has a bit more of like an actual fold over turtleneck, but you can get an idea of what it would look like. It has the one shoulder cut out, very long slouchy sleeves, kind of all over slouchy look. Okay, um, so the fabric that I found, I was looking for a rib knit. You can see that there is some like vertical definition. It's smaller here than it is here, pretty common among sweater knits. Um, so I thought out to try and find some kind of wool rib knit, but also that one that had like a soft, maybe brushed, um, feel to it and a soft hand because this is, you know, kind of drapey. I mean, you can see here how it's piling up on her wrist that it's not thick and chunky. You know, you can find a lot of thick ribbed sweater knits. You can also find a lot of really, really thin sweater knits that are more for like fitted turtlenecks. So you're kind of looking for something in the middle. Um, what I found was from Telio again. This is their Ashmore Rib Sweater Knit. Um, it comes in three colors, or I'm sorry, four colors. You have this gray, you have a red, a navy, and a brown. And the content is poly rayon spandex. So this doesn't have any wool in it, but it is gonna give you that medium weight, um, super soft, um, and four-way stretch for comfort and ease, which I think matches 
the look of this more so than the actual content. You can find wool rib knits though, so feel free to take a look around at those. I think I found a whole bunch at fashionfabricsclub.com. So go check that one out. And that is going to do it for our um, McCall's Ready to Wear Inspiration. I hope you guys like the garments that I picked out, or the patterns that I picked out and the garments that I found to match them. Um, I think they're pretty adorable. Uh, let me know what you guys think of all of these. Let me know if you've seen anything else out on the internet that reminded you of any of the new McCall's patterns. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye!